Hi everyone, Alice Zhao here, and I am so excited to talk to you today about two of my favorite tools that are coming together, Python and Excel. I have been using both tools for over a decade, and I was so excited when I heard Microsoft announce last week that Python is getting integrated into Excel. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my five thoughts on this integration. First, is this a good idea? My answer is yes. As a data scientist, I use both Excel and Python in my data science workflow. I know some people are pro Python all the way or pro Excel all the way, but I actually use both. So whenever I'm doing some data analysis, at the very beginning, I'll bring my data into Excel really quickly just to filter and sort the data to see what's going on. And then I wanna do all my heavy lifting within Python. So that's where I do my data manipulation or my machine learning. All of that is done within Python. And then personally, I like to extract that data back into Excel and that's where I do a lot of my data visualizations, like creating plots and so on. I also like to sometimes take my data within Excel and do conditional formatting on it, just because that's so much easier to do within Excel than Python. So again, I like to use both tools when I'm doing my data analysis. So I think it's really cool that Microsoft decided to put both of these into one. So that means going forward, instead of me switching back and forth between the two tools, I can use them all at once. So I think that's just so cool that this integration is happening. One of the biggest pros I see of this integration is that Excel users will now be able to do advanced machine learning within Excel. So there are so many Excel users out there that do data analysis, and most people aren't able to do data science because that's been reserved for people who know how to use R or Python or other tools like that. So by bringing Python into Excel, Excel users have access to that too, which I think is really cool. On the flip side, I've been a data science instructor for many years, and one thing that I find is that students very often interpret models incorrectly when they're just first starting out. So I would say for Excel users who are trying to use Python, that they learn about some of these machine learning techniques more in depth, and then learn how to interpret them correctly. Another thing that I think is gonna be really useful for Excel users is the Pandas library. So Pandas is the data manipulation library that's within Python, and I use it all the time. It is so powerful, and I'm able to do data manipulation within Pandas a lot more in depth than I can do within Excel. So for example, if I'm in Excel and I wanna do a group by with um, some type of aggregation, I can do that using a pivot table in Excel, but then within Pandas, I can do that within just a few lines of code, and then I can use some extra functions in there. So like I can do like a dot head, just to take the first row of every group and so on. And that's a little bit harder to do within Excel. Or things like adopt melt within Python, which is super useful for unpivoting your data. So taking data from that wide format into that long format. Within Python, I can just do adopt melt and it just flips my data just like that, which is so cool. And then in Excel, I can do that, but it takes a little bit longer. So if Excel users have the power to do that Python technique, that Python data manipulation, within Excel, it's gonna be amazing. And as a Python user, I would love to do that within Excel. So I think that's gonna be probably one of the most powerful things about this Python and Excel integration. One of the things that I'm curious to learn more about is the power of Python visualizations. In the Python and Excel video that Microsoft just came out with, they talk a lot about the power of Python visualizations. So I'm curious about that because I actually really dislike doing Python visualizations. And the reason for that is because visualizations are really difficult to tweak within Python. So just changing the location of the axis or changing the color of something is hard to do. And so I like to do my data visualizations within Excel or even Tableau. So I like to do my analysis within Python, extract that data, and then do my visualization elsewhere. So I'm just curious what Excel users are gonna think about doing really complex data visualizations within Excel because the code is complex, the Python code is complex, and then the output sometimes doesn't even look as pretty as the Excel plots. So something I'm curious to try out once I'm able to test out Python in Excel. And finally, another thing that I noticed when I was listening to the intro video was they briefly mentioned that all Python calculations are gonna be in the cloud. So typically when you write Python code, that code is run locally, which means it's run on your computer, and that's done pretty quickly. However, in the past, when I run code in the cloud, it takes a little bit longer. So I used to teach students how to use Google Collab a lot, 
So Google Collab is basically allowing you to write Python code within Google Cloud. And whenever we would use that, I would say sometimes it would work correctly and everything would be great. But other times, if there were network connectivity issues or a huge data set, the code would take a little longer to run. So when I heard that Python calculations in Excel are going to be done in the cloud, I was just kind of curious on how long it would take to actually run. And that's not something I'm able to really suss out until I try it out myself. So right now, Python and Excel isn't available to everyone. It's only available to a small number of users in the beta channel. And then once they test it out, that's going to be available to Windows users and then so on. So right now, we don't have the ability to test it out. But once I do have the ability to test it out, I can't wait to try it. And I'm really curious what the world thinks as well. If you have any other questions or comments, please put them in the chat and we would love to hear your thoughts. Again, my name is Alice from Maven Analytics and it was great sharing this with you today. Talk to you soon.